Hi, it's Miranda. We are here today to work in my little dialogue book from Dilusions. It is the um, dot grid and I am going to show you how I set it up for, I don't use this for just one month because this is where I come to just play when I want to play. So it's kind of like a mini art journal, um, but I wanted to show you what I do to get the pages ready. So I will do um, a few with you on camera and then I will show you what it looks like at the end. The, I like to use somewhat neutral or light colors for my backgrounds because I'm, I, I don't, I don't know, I just do. I, I want to be able to use whatever colors that I want. So I usually pick the palest that she has or the most neutral that she has. So today I'm using desert sand, uh, vanilla custard, mushy peas, and rose quartz. And I am also going to be using these jelly plates that I bought. Um, they come in like an oval, um, <clears throat> a hexagon, and a rectangle. And I use them for the background just for a little bit of texture and my brayer because I don't I don't like to doodle as much as Diane does but I like to doodle a little bit but I like to give the background a little bit of I don't know I don't know what you call it I'm just gonna show you what I did okay so I am going to start with desert sand and I don't have a mat that I put them on so what I do is I'll use my brayer, but I use one of these jelly plates as just um, a place to squirt the paint so I don't get it everywhere. So what we're going to do, I shake it up really good, and then I just squirt some on here. And rub it in to get it on my brayer. And then I just start going and I go every fourth page because I've picked four colors and sometimes the first page it comes out really dark like this and I don't I don't really care so I just kind of keep going to town with the brayer to leave kind of like these textured sort of all over the place marks. Sometimes I use the baby wipe method that she uses, but I'm not in the mood for baby wipes today. So I'm just going to do this. And you know what? I'll probably do... Well, let me rub this all over it so I get it nice in there. And then... I'm going to turn around and do this. Smush it all in there really good. And lift it up. And then I've got that spot if I want to use it later. So, one, two, three, four. So this is the next one I would do. And I've already got some paint on there, so I'm just going to wipe off what I can. And the nice thing is with these colors, like later on, because I don't like having the page color on there, I find something that is close to that color <clears throat> to add to the background later if I want. I'll just go through rub it all over just making marks on the page like I said I'm not big on doodling like when I come in here I like to use my stamps or sometimes I use washi tape or stickers or my own drawings uh, I'm all over the place in here Get that off on there. Add some more. Make 
it all sloppy. All right. And then I do that. So I'm going to do all of those in all the colors and then come right back. Okay, so I'm back. I finished the pages and I went in with vanilla custard over all of them after I brayered them and filled in the white spaces with the vanilla custard. So even on the pink pages, even on the vanilla custard pages, because with a baby wipe, when you wipe this down, this the brayering still shows through. So you still get that nice texture. I did it on the green. And longtime viewers of this channel know it isn't a question of if I mess up. It is when I mess up. So on the pages that I messed up, they get a nice coat of black and I work with them that way. So I went through and I did that through the entire book. And I gotta be honest, these are the pages that I hate. I don't like desert sand. I think I need to stop using it in the background because it, it just, it makes me crazy. So this is what I do. And this is all that I do. I don't do any, um, any of the borders. I don't do any doodling. I don't do any stenciling. I save all of that for the day that I want to create on this page. Um, because I never know what kind of mood I'm going to be in. And if I'm stenciling, it's a light amount of paint anyway. And it'll dry relatively quickly. So it's not like, you know, I'm going to have to add the stenciling and then wait forever to be able to create on the page. That's not true. So this is what it turns out to look like. And I will be making videos showing you what it is that I do in these. And hopefully it'll be fun. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you would. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.